Oh no! Do something! No! No! <gasps> no! Welcome back, gay schools and everyone in between, to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. My name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we're your boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And yes, we are back officially mm -hmm. for another Chucky reaction episode. This week being episode number six, Cape Queer. I am so psyched. Last week's episode was great. I feel like this week's episode is going I to be great. I want to say that the overall consensus for last week's episode was high. Like, I feel like everybody mm -hmm. was on agreement that it was a really good episode. Yeah. I think, I think. Maybe some people were like, it's trash. But for those people, okay. <laughs> and if this is the first time that you're watching one of our videos, make sure that you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you can hear as soon as we release new episodes every week. And now we're gonna quickly go through our comments section. We have asked you guys to go ahead and comment on our videos discussing the movie or anything that stands out to you. And that maybe we'll go ahead and give you a shout out in the next video. Mm -hmm. Guess what? This is the next video. So we're gonna go ahead and give just a few shout outs for you guys. So a couple weeks ago, uh, we did have somebody comment and say that this sweatshirt is awesome. And we wanted to let you know where you could buy more stuff like this if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from a company called Tentree. They are a sustainable sustainable company that makes clothing from recycled plastic, which is pretty cool. Okay. So go check them out at tentree.com. Check them out. This is also not sponsored, so. But if they would like to. So our first comment comes from Van Bones. I love you guys and your reactions. It's so entertaining and I couldn't wait for your reaction to episode five. I'm really scared of what's going to happen to Devin. We see from trailers that he will eventually probably get kidnapped by Chucky. I just hope that he will get out of that unharmed, maybe with help of Jake and Miss Evans. Van Bones, thank you so much for your comment. Uh, just so you guys know that we try our best to not spoil ourselves before the next airing of the of the episode. Yeah. So anything regarding any trailers, sneak sneak peek clips, we avoid that. So mm -hmm. you could definitely talk about it in the comments, but for that, like for us, we didn't watch anything. So oh, we yeah. don't know. We don't know if Devin is going to get kidnapped, but it really does alarm me. Like I said in the previous episode. What's going to happen? If you're a love interest in a horror movie. You're doomed. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, doomed. Sorry. One of you is going to either get kidnapped or, or killed. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm already attached. Like, consider me attached to these characters. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, me too. And next we have Bannon or Benign. Um, we actually debated what, how to pronounce your name. So we didn't I know one of us is Sorry. right. <laughs> but uh, who said, I like that Chucky doesn't have full control over Nika. Jake and Devin are so cute. I'm glad kids today have this where we didn't when we were kids. This show just went from a 10 to a 15. And I completely agree. I'm down for this show. Oh, yeah. I mean, the fact that we now, because at the end of Cult of Chucky, I honestly thought was like, well, we're fucked. If there's several Chucky's just going around, there's no way that we can defeat Chucky at this point. But mm -hmm. it seems like there is a little bit of a flaw with this curse that Chucky is using. So I'm really liking that there is a chance that Nika herself might be able to overcome the whatever Chucky is in her. Yeah. Weirdly enough. <laughs> but yes, we also love, love, love the whole Jake and Devin romance and the fact that like we're able to kind of just like not do anything stereotypical. It's just pure like romance, uh, that teen romance, you know, mm -hmm. and it's something that young Sergio would have loved to see on his TV. Yeah. And our last one for this episode is from... And more. What a great channel. I'm not a big horror fan myself, but this series has been phenomenal, especially in regard to LGBTQ plus representation. And your reactions have been perfect blend of snarky humor and background lore slash speculation. You've gained a subscriber all the way from New Zealand. Heart. New Zealand. Thank you so much, and more. We really do appreciate that. Again, we are loving the LGBTQ plus representation in yes. this show, in horror, and in in a horror franchise that is so iconic as this one. Mm -hmm. um, I honestly do feel like Chucky, the Chucky series, Don Mancini has 
already introduced these kind of elements way before. And so they're kind of really putting a mark onto it before mm -hmm. anyone else is really like the other franchises are now getting to these kind of elements. Also, we are so happy that you are enjoying our like speculation slash just diving deep and analyzing this. Listen, this is our first reaction to it mm -hmm. off the bat. So whatever is in our minds, we're just going to say whether or not that makes sense. We don't know, but that's why we have the comments. So that way you guys can go ahead and discuss it. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the editor so that we <laughs> so it we makes sense good. somehow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is going to be our comment section. Please make sure that you go onto this video's comment section and tell us what you think of the episode, what you think are your predictions for the next episode, and what do you think of our episodes? Okay, we'd like to hear from you, and maybe you'll get a shout out in the next video. But without further ado, you know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Let's get right into it. Silver Tilly, I want to be a star. Yes, a switch. Lots to get to. Television is so exciting. Oh, I feel like we're gonna get a ton of Tilly. I can't wait. <gasps> oh, is this Andy and Kyle? Can I help you? Is this the Morrison residence? Yes. It's Andy Barclay. I bet you're really smart. Too. Any recent property damage? Andy looks good. Mm -hmm. Andy looks good for like, I don't know how old he is now, but. We can move on to the occupations. Any fires or major injuries, freak accidents? I, I like, I. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> we have to ask. Um, so you were saying your occupation? Any new dolls in the house? Trust you guys like, now. Like, maybe, like, be a little more subtle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys own knives? Are there usually blood on them? <laughs> yeah, they are acting pretty sketchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot Charlie. Oh, go get him, go get him. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. Hi, I'm Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shit, fuck. They're here, they got me. You're not gonna just like. Oh, oh. You made me do this. Do what? <gasps> I was about to thought. I thought that went through Kyle. Oh my god. That's so funny. Fuck you, Andy. I need that on teacher t-shirts. Oh my god. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, I mean, if your doll is like bleeding guts, it's probably not a good thing, right? Yeah, I, I would say that is not what you want in a doll. They got to have like that man in black like mechanism. <gasps> hold up. Hold, I hold the phone. I'm... <gasps> yes. <laughs> I don't even know what this means, but it's like a mirrors and reflections. Remember we talked about reflections mm -hmm. last episode? That that could be the reason that, you know, maybe they go on and off between souls. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But I was, was I going to say before, Andy and Kyle need to have that, like, that um that machine that Men in Black has. Oh, yeah. Where you're just like, okay, you never knew this. Boop. Besides, you and me went through a lot as kids. Come on! <gasps> we turned out okay. Sure, without it, it would have been better can you tell me you're keeping a living chucky head locked in a safe yeah <laughs> thanks for taking care of that you didn't answer my question why did you keep him alive yeah, bitch. for four years what difference does it make i don't know it doesn't sound like very rational behavior mm -mm. about any of this mm. something i picked that's not a good excuse. Mm -mm. I need more. Andy, what's your... You can learn a lot from a POW. If you persuade him hard enough. What's a POW? Prisoner of war. Because fall to the ground along with the aftermath. Okay, we can't just go into school and not address that the principal is dead. <laughs> Take a bit more time. 
Rachel Fairchild, you're under arrest for the <gasps> and Detective Sean Payton. What? Excuse me? What are you joking? Mom. Yeah, mom, tell me. How do you know she didn't do it? I just do. Okay, well, Devin is, like, when he talks to his mom, he does have these, like, you feel like he's going to say something really, like, substantial, and then mm -hmm. he's like, I just know. Like, hmm. Though, what if it turns out that she it had, does have, like, a Chucky soul in her? That would be interesting. Ooh. Also, I think the opener was not, it, it was supposed to represent the fact that Chucky broke his soul into a bunch of pieces. How about you? Lexi's <sighs> right. We can't just tell. That's cool. I thought you said you checked him out. I did. Now he's missing. What? Since we also forget that they don't really know how Chucky passes his yeah, soul they have around. No clue. So this is where I think this is where okay, it's time for Andy and Kyle to come in. Mm -hmm. Andy Barkley. Who's Andy Barkley? Ha <laughs> ha. He was this kid in the '80s whose babysitter was murdered. If you say his name three times, he'll come to you. Uh, I can't close it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, we're gonna have to blur this out. You're the body disposal expert. Dispose. <laughs> this is kind of a um, a funny throwback to Bride of Chucky, where she was trying to like lug the the suitcase around with the body in the. I mean, it would help if you like tucked that hand like just right just in the like, side. Squeeze that in or chop it off. You're not helping. The key is smaller pieces for optimal packing. Oh, so now you're a packing genius. Smaller pieces, is that what you suggest? It's like rolling. <laughs> Chucky, get your leg off my suitcase. <laughs> it's blood. It has to be blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. But I still don't get why. And I love the color. Coronado Red just put on a fresh coat last month. There was an accident. What happened? A young couple uh, got killed. That's so crazy. She looks just like her father. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. Oh. Both of them? More. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Really? All right. So we did hear in the comments from last weekend's, uh, last week's episode, that the the dubbing is awful. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I kind of feel like it's on purpose. I kind of feel like they're leaning to the camp side of things. Mm -hmm. So it is bad. Yeah. But it's a little bit better this week. Kind of like you. Ooh. All right. He didn't. He doesn't look that old. <laughs> Good job, too. <gasps> wow, like right in the street. I know. Ballsy. The What's ultimate that? book of voodoo. It's a hobby. I'm definitely loving the idea that we're getting some sort of origin story with all these characters. I just hope that they don't reveal too much. You know? Like, there's some horror movies that, like, reveal a little bit too much. And it ruins rewatching all the other movies. I don't want anybody to be ready for this. I know. Oh, does it? Did she reveal? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. It's um. It's cancer. Come here, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Another beer? No, I'm okay. Ah, oh, cutting back, are you, Chucky? Is she pretending to? To be Charles? I think so. That's a little bit. How did she come up with a good Charles impression on the spot? <laughs> oh, the memories. That's <laughs> why I chose this dumb one. Tell me, do you remember Niagara Chucky? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Huh? Humor me. What was your favorite part of it? I bet Tiffany suspects. I, that's what I'm wondering. That scares me. <laughs> Hello, Nika. <gasps> oh, shit. Shit. 
knew it. No see. Oh my god. Nika. Oh my god. I'm not Nika. Why do you think I'm Nika? I'm not. <laughs> All right, Nika. <laughs> You're not doing a good job <laughs> she, anymore. She knows. I'm not Nika. What are you talking about? Is it Chucky doesn't bluff? Um, Chucky bluffs, but he doesn't chew on his fingernails. <laughs> Besides, I stabbed you in the thigh 10 minutes ago. You didn't feel. Damn. Are you fucking kidding me? Sometimes when we're together, I. I see you looking at me, um. and I know it's you. It's not mm. Chucky. It's you, and it's a little disturbing. I for those moments, <laughs> I want to have those moments all the time. Mm -hmm. I. <sighs> How do I keep you in the driver's seat instead of that rat, Chucky? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was like, gonna happen. It was a matter. It was a matter of time. <laughs> it's not on Insta. On Snap. Not on Twitter. They've repaired that house Whoa. fast. I know, right? What? I googled Andy Barclay and got an article from two weeks ago. I was gonna be like, he's on Grinder. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> found him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, it was Junior. Um, oh, you know what? I feel like it's gonna really. happen. Lex is gonna kind of not pay attention to him as she probably should have, and he's gonna have more further reason to probably kill all three of them. No, I honestly see. think Junior's gonna flip. I'm always here for you. I'm starting to think I you're right. Chucky's gonna get to him, especially with that haircut. Like that's evil kid haircut. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Like, you see what I mean? You call fuck? It. Lex, it's like I don't even exist to you anymore. Exactly. No. Exactly. No, that's, that's not true. <laughs> I'm always here for you. I love you. And it's like you said, everything has just been such a mess lately, and I just want to protect you. No. No? It's over. We're done. All right. No. No, Junior, please. Please don't do this. We can fix this. I just did. It was cold. I mean, to be fair, she was also, like, cheating on him. Yeah, I mean, listen. Like, she didn't really care. I Only until all this shit happened. I'm not saying that she didn't deserve it. It was just cold. Andy Barkley? Jake Wheeler. Where are you? In a kitchen? In Hackensack? Damn. They're far. Hackensack. Figures. You know about Chucky and you're still alive. Makes you one of the lucky few. It's a shitty club to be in, but welcome. First I thought I was going Why do I feel like his voice is unnaturally deep yeah. right now, right? Questions. We're out of time and we need your help. How do we find him? Oh, you don't have to find Chucky. He'll find, he'll you. find you. And if yep, he can't there find we go. you, he'll go after your whole family to get to you. <gasps> Congratulations, that's Thank wonderful. Thank you, well, yes. What brings you to Hackensack? Well, my fiance grew up here actually, right in this very house. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought I was going to say. This is probably Chucky's house. Ever since. <gasps> Ever since the murders, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <laughs> so it was your fiance's <laughs> parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I almost forgot. We've already started getting some mail. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> oh. That looks like a good guy box. I have an online or shopping addiction. Okay. Well, you have a good a Tiffany box. <gasps> um, would you yes. like my autograph next time? Okay. Damn. Oh, <laughs> I mean, shit. I don't my blame God. Her. I'd be like, bye. Yeah. I don't need to know <laughs> any more about what's going to happen in this house. <laughs> Want my lawyer. Someone's on their way. Besides, I don't need you to talk. Just listen. You were the last person to see Principal McVeigh alive. You were next in line for her job. 
We found your fingerprints everywhere in the office and the crime scene and this. Of course my fingerprints are everywhere. I work at the school. And then there's your juvenile record. Maybe McVeigh found out about your delinquent past. So yeah. I feel like, wouldn't her juvenile record be sealed? I thought they were usually sealed. I don't know. We've made some claims regarding law and for law Mal and stuff, so, and we were. Mal I know nothing. We are not lawyers. We, <laughs> <laughs> we do. You talk about me all the time. Do you know? Yeah, because you're the worst. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to live my life with my family with whatever time that I have left because every day is a gift for all of us that's true I could walk out of this office right now and get hit by a bus who knows what could happen could be something very special I don't know those are some foreboding words I know but I don't imagine Chucky riding a bus <laughs> or driving one. I feel right All the stuff we don't talk about at home. Although that is a like conversation you should have in person. That's a big decision, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, oh my God! No, 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 no. No, oh, no. And don't tell my... me that she's gonna like land right next to Junior in no, the car. No, no, no. I no. Oh my what? Oh my god. This is giving me very Spider-Man No Way Home this vibes. Is, this, <laughs> is, this is the glass from the opener. That's what that is. Oh, shit. And you know. Oh, this is going to be traumatizing. Right son. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That is my stomach. What? Oh, no. That's so sad. That is so sad. I'm feeling so many thoughts. I was not expecting that. I, I've got to admit you. They really went there. They mm -hmm. just like, they didn't even give her a chance. <laughs> I mean, as soon as you say, uh, as, I, as I could as, die any as minute. As soon as you say, I could, like, I could get hit by a bus. Uh, it, it's just, it's inviting that sort of thing. You must understand your mother loved you all very much. Thank you for coming. But Jake knows. Yeah. Oh. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Take care of it. Not yourself. now, Jake. Junior. Don't do it. I don't think your mother killed herself. No! No! Not the time. Not the time. Not this, no! Give him a second. Give him a second. Ooh. Stay the fuck away from me. We were fine before you came along. Mm -hmm. Told you. Mm -hmm. Oh. I was about to say, like, this is giving me very like old school horror vibes. Oh, this is Cape Fear. This is uh the movie Cape Fear. Uh, hey. I have to head back to the station. <laughs> it was like <laughs> fuck oh sorry, Robert De Niro shirtless. <laughs> know if you really like someone mm. when i first met your father i couldn't stop thinking about him i had butterflies in my stomach whenever he was around <laughs> is that how you feel about jake <gasps> yeah <laughs> no I'm, i was worried he wouldn't look at me the same Honey, this doesn't change anything. You're my son. 
and I'll always love you. Okay, so we were both wrong. Like, mm-hmm. she took it well, and she didn't blame Jake. I do want to see this movie, though. It is a classic. This is like... But this is giving me, like, maybe he has ideas on how to, like, stop Chucky. They're kind of, like, replicating the same angles of the shots. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Best vantage point is upstairs. My room. Rock, paper, scissors? (laughs) No, it's like, I I really don't want to. Jesus. Again, guys, I don't know. I think I'm liking Lexi as the time goes by. I also am just impressed by Lexi's, uh, the the actress. I think she's a good actress. Favorite final girl? Lori Strode, hands down. Jamie Lee's gonna win the Saturn this year. Dude, she's gonna win an Oscar. She's magnificent. She's fabulous. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot. Also, we now get that in this world, Halloween is a movie. <laughs> us, as I was like, Chuck's here. Yeah, but so if oh if god, you were, if you were gonna like, wait, hold on, let's go on to our reporter on the scene, <laughs> Cody, <laughs> and I his just, cynical takes. I just want to understand, like, wouldn't you want to rig that up in a way that tells you? What was moving? Not just that something was moving. I well, don't no, know. because if I you, because I feel like this this is a reference to Cape Fear, which I have not seen. So I'm like out on a limb here. The only way that it could possibly go wrong is if it's a it's a random person who's coming to the house, either the therapist, either the like Logan or Junior. I feel like somebody is gonna trip on this on this fishing wire. Yeah, and then like accidentally die. Um, which is not going to be good. It's no bueno. I got you now, bitch. Shit. Oh, shit. But I'll let oh. you go on one condition. Un- what? All you got to do is kill Jake. So he's trying to kind of like change her mind? I don't know how I do it. Duh. <laughs> I'm all ears. Come on. Okay. He's taking forever. I know. Just do it. I beat him to death. Go. With this. Can I watch? <laughs> do it, Lexi. Kill him. <laughs> What the fuck? What? Oh <laughs> shit, what? Yes! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's get back in the game. Let's get back in the game. You guys, you can't just like let him recover. Time to grab his knife. That can't be your main source, bro. Mm. <laughs> ah! No! All right, we good. Guys. He's headed back downstairs. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he didn't even try to kill me. Me neither. What the hell? Hello? Devin! Oh no! Chucky's gonna kill his Devin's mom! <gasps> oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! Do something! Do something! No! no! <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! No, don't look! Devin, don't look! Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's I'm so oh. For your loss. Should we watch? No. I don't want to okay, know. Okay. I don't want to know. Okay, so <laughs> look at us. As we said it earlier in the episode, we're like, we don't watch the, the teaser trailers. All right, guys. So that is our reaction for this episode. You let us know what you think down in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. Because mm -hmm. remember, apparently the dislike button is going to be leaving us soon. And apparently it's going to mess with the algorithm or something. I'm not entirely too sure. But we'll find make out. Yeah, we'll find out. Just make sure to uh, press that like uh, button and let us know what you think. So that way we can give you guys a shout out next episode. Yeah. Now, where can they find us on Instagram at? The Horror Bandwagon. Or on Twitter at? Horror Bandwagon, no the. You can also email us if you want to email us with any suggestions for any upcoming uh, movies coming out that you want us to react to, mm -hmm. any other spooky stuff on the interwebs that you want us to react to, let us know at thehorrorbandwagon at gmail.com. Or in the comments. You could just put it right there. That's fine, yeah. too. All right. With that being said, guys, we have been your source for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.